King Drunk back again with yet another attempt of a craft beer review. One I'm going to review just now is, well it's actually two beers into one, but and it's from Brewdog, and I'll show you the two beers I'm talking about, Brewdog, Jack Hammer, 7.2 on the Richter scale, for that one, and the other one is Brewdog Elvis Juice, 6.5 on the Richter scale for that one. And the brew I'm going to concoct is an Elvis Hammer, which according to Brewdog is weighing in at 6.8, I think it's on their cans. But this is a two can mixture, which uh, everyone who drinks craft beer has tried. So here's my take on it. So we'll get some Elvis juice in there first. So let's get a quick aroma for an Elvis juice. Grapefruit. So sort of sweet floral sort of uh, hop and of course a little bit of caramel fantastic beer on its own now my combination mix is less uh, <laughs> is uh, about a third to two thirds jackhammer uh, jackhammer quick nose Citrus, pine, grapefruit, a little bit of orange peel. Beautiful, beautiful beer. So let's get it in and let's get the creation of an Elvis Hammer on the go. I'm going to slightly over pour this. I would say I'll get more Jack Hammer than Elvis just in it. Here we have it in the glass. Usual hazy colour. Both beers are more or less the same, uh, same in colour, nice and hazy, going for a quick nose, boom, beautiful, grapefruit, pine, lemon citrus, a little bit of orange peel, lovely tropical pine smell uh, comes up to greet you, and caramel. It smells absolutely gorgeous. So anyway, Sophie King drunk drinking ah, we'll call it the Elvis Hammer because that's what they're more or less saying it is. Elvis Hammer by Brewdog, Slangeva, the Sofa King drunk edition. Heavy on the Jack Hammer, Slangeva. Lovely. Everything I said on the nose is beautiful. Oh, it's just a marriage made in heaven. I've drank this a few times. I personally like the heavier. I like it heavier on Jack Hammer. I've got to admit uh, than Elvis Juice. Although Elvis Juice is pretty good on its own, the Jack Hammer for me makes a drink. There is other variations of the Brewdog cocktail out there. Uh, some people are using clockwork, the clockwork, uh, what is it called? Oh, you know the one, so clockwork tangerine, Jack Hammer, I don't know what that's getting called, I think you make up your own names. Jack Hammer, Elvis Juice, Elvis's Jack Hammer, uh, Elvis Hammer, uh, what else can you call it? I don't know, make up your own variation of name. Anyway, it's absolutely fantastic, so anyway, if you're out and about, in a Brewdog bar or even in your local supermarket you can pick up Elvis Juice and Jack Hammer have a go at it and whatever one you like the best uh, Jack Hammer is 7.2 Elvis Juice is uh, Elvis Juice is 6.5 whatever one of those two you like the best maybe go a little bit heavier on that one I personally like the Jack Hammer I love the nice pine sharpness to it is it one I'll drink again? Yes it will. See you next time I try this actually. I may try it on draft. Get the two of them in draft and try it in a brew dog bar. So anyway, what am I going to give my version of the Elvis Hammer? Jack Hammer and Elvis Juice by Brewdog. 6.8 in a Richter scale. I'm going to give that a Sophie King drunk rating of... I'm going to give that an 8.5 out of 10. So anyway, if you've had it before, you liked it, you didn't like it, you like my version of it, you like your own version, top of line below. 
And if not, thanks for sticking along to the end of the video. And so fucking drunk, I'll hopefully catch you in another beer review. Craft beer review. Ciao for now. Keep drinking the good craft beers. Sanjeeva.